Hello and greetings everyone. Okay, I'm just trying to get it where um, you can see us. At the minute, a lot of people are going on about the COVID-19 and the harm it's doing. Well, I'd like to speak for a minute about the harm that's happening to the people who haven't got it. Now, there's a lot of people suffer from depression, anxiety. Um, I'm one of them. Um, I'm not as bad as some, but worse than others. You know, we've all got little problems. Now then, this self-isolation. Now, I've always been a bit of a loner, so that, I thought, wasn't going to be Sorry, I've got a very itchy nose. That wasn't going to be much of a problem. But then, when I do talk to people I normally talk to, if I go and visit them, I'll... Like, when I go and visit Lynn, a friend, I'll sit in a garden. She's about 10, 20 feet away. If she brings us a cup of coffee out, I'll walk up the other side of the garden, she'll put the coffee down where I am, I'll go back. We're both wearing gloves, we're both wearing masks. You know, and that's the only contact I seem to have with, with people. At that kind of distance. And I've found myself getting more isolated, which I didn't think was possible. If you've all known in the past, I've always been very close to my cats. Um, always cuddling us, sleep next to us, cuddling to us. And I don't know why, but the last few weeks I can't even stand them near us. I never noticed that till just the other day. Um, I've got one sitting on us at the minute, and I can't wait to put him on the floor because. Every time I put him on the floor, he gets back up and it's really starting to irritate us. Spend a lot of time in the house. That's what's getting to me. Now, a lot of people really suffer a lot with this isolation. Um, and there's nothing to be done about it. You've just got to crack on and get over with it. But people forget about them. Now, also, other side effects is of put on a stone in three weeks. People don't realise that, you know, you're sitting around, you're doing nothing. Um, the only thing you have to do is watch TV, which all seems doom and gloom, and eat. Now, in the past, I've always coped with anxiety and depression through eating. I want quite a, a healthy diet at the minute. But that sort of went out the window where I have comfort food to make us feel better. And comfort food to break up the boredom. Now, if I've put on a stone in three weeks, that means if we go on, maybe it's another 15 weeks, that could be another, at least two or three stone, maybe it's four stone I'll put on. And at the minute I'm 24 stone, seven I think it is. And that's not good. I was 23 stone six, um, last time I got weighed. So what other problems are people gonna have? Muscle waste. Okay, sitting around doing nothing all day. People are frightened to go out in case they get penalised off the, off the police or the government for going out. They're also frightened of going out and catching the virus. But every day you sit around and do nothing, you're losing muscle strength, muscle mass. Now, I know if you are laid up on a ventilator, you're losing 2.4% of your muscle mass per day. No, we're not that bad. 
Let's see if we even lose 1.5, uh, sorry, 0.5% of muscle mass a day. In 100 days, that all adds up. So, exercise. Try and eat better. Find yourself word games, anything to keep your mind occupied. Don't dwell on what's happening. Look for the future. Okay, everyone, try and stay safe. Heal the gods. Heal Tia. Heal air. See you at the other side, brothers, when all this is over. And sisters, look forward to seeing you all. Toodles.